Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Subcommittee on Planning Dispositions and Concessions. I'm Councilmember Chaim Daish, and I will be chairing today's hearing, as Chair Kalos cannot be here today. We are joined today by Councilmember Ruben Diaz, Sr. Uh, today we'll be holding a hearing, a public hearing, on the application for the Hopkinson Park Place tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law for property located in Park Place and Thomas S. Boylan Street, just north of East New York Avenue and south of Eastern Parkway. The properties are located in Councilmember Ampre Samuels District in Brooklyn. HPD seeks approval of a 40-year real, uh, real property tax exemption to facilitate the construction of three multiple dwellings with 25 home ownership units for low-income families. I will now open up to the public hearing on the Hopkinson Park Place application. Uh, I'd like to call up Audie Pearson, Director of the Land Use, as well as Erica Benson, Deputy Director of uh, NIHOP. Uh, I'd like to uh, ask the Committee and Council to administer the oath. Please state your names. Artie Pearson. Erica Benson. Do you affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in your testimony before this committee and in response to all council member questions? Yes. Yes. Uh, afternoon, Chair uh, Deutsch and members of the su uh, subcommittee. I'm Marty Pearson, Director of Land Use from HPD. Uh, this pre-considered land use item consists of an amended project located in an exemption area at 1900 A and B Park Place and 416 Thomas S. Boylan Street in Brooklyn, Council District 41, and is known as Hopkinson Park Place. On December 21st, 2009, the City Council approved the ULARP actions related to the area designation disposition and project approval for the Hopkinson Park Place project under HPD's new foundations program. However, the project did not advance beyond award to the selected development team because of the downturn in the housing market until earlier this year. I'm sorry, last year. On February 10th, 2017, HPD conveyed the site to the development team under HPD's new infill home ownership opportunities program, also called NIHOP. Under NIHOP program guidelines, HPD promotes new construction of home ownership opportunities targeted to New York City's workforce with incomes earning between 80 to 130 percent of AMI, which is roughly 68,000 to 111,000 for a family of three. The development team for the Hopkinson Park Place project is latent development and habitat for humanity. Construction has commenced and once completed, there will be three four-story residential buildings in total, there will be 25 cooperative home ownership units with a mixture of unit types, including seven one bedrooms, 15 two bedrooms, three three bedroom apartments marketed to households earning between 60 to 80 percent of AMI, and that's just for this particular project. Um, and initial sales prices are underwritten at 60 to 65 percent of AMI. Maintenance will range from $326 to $820. The homes will be built to City's Energy's Conservation Code and Enterprise Green Community Standards. And the development team is committed to res uh, sponsoring informational seminars in the community in order to reach as many potential applicants as possible. In order to facilitate affordability for the potential homeowners, HPD is before the Council seeking approval of Article 11 tax benefits. And at this point, we are just looking for the tax benefits as this project has been previously conveyed to the developer. Uh, and uh, Council Member Ampre Samuel has uh, indicated support for this project, and both I and Erica can answer any questions that you may have. Uh, we've been joined by uh, Council Member Vanessa Gibson. Any questions? Uh, any more members of the public who wish to testify? Seeing none, I will now close the public hearing on pre-considered LU Hopkinson Park Place tax exemption. Um,
please be patient. You could send out a few tweets if you want. Bienvenido, Salamanca. Yeah, we've been joined by Councilmember Rafael uh, Sal Salamanca, and also I'd like to acknowledge that the king is in the house. <laughs> okay. Uh, today we will vote on the tax exemption we just heard, which has the support of Councilmember Amphrey Samuel, and we will also vote on the 425 Grand Concourse applications, which we held a hearing on previously. The 425 Grand Concourse rezoning is, is in Chair Salamanca's district in the Bronx. It's comprised of three applications. One, an Urban Development Action Area Project, UDAAP designation, project approval, and disposition of city-owned property. Two, a zoning map amendment to rezone a C4-4 district to a C6-3 district, and three, a zoning tax amendment to introduce R9-1 slash MIH regulations governing heights and setbacks to change the C6-3 residential equivalent from R9 to R9-1 in Bronx Community District 1. To modify Appendix F to map the project area as a mandatory inclusionary housing area utilizing option one. There is also an application for tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law. 
These actions will facilitate the redevelopment of former PS31 school into a 27-story mixed-use building in which 100% of the apartments will be affordable. We'll be voting to modify the 425 Grand Concourse rezoning, LUs 8, 9, and 10, to clarify the towers which, which will not be permitted in an R9-1 district. Our modifications will also limit the ap applicability of the new R9-1 slash C6-3 regulations to only this MIH area, MIH area 4 of the Bronx Community Board 1. We will be voting to approve the 425 Grand Concourse tax exemption, LU 14. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, Chair Salamanca, um, with a statement? Uh, <coughs> definitely. I will be brief. Um, I want to thank the committee for, uh, for the, um, the subcommittee that we had last week in terms of really dissecting this project. Um, this is a project that I'm in favor of, a project that I've been working on for about a year and a half now. Um, and I'm happy to see that we were able to get to a, a, a good place with Trinity. One of my biggest asks uh, was that they were able to secure $50,000 a year uh, for um, for a full-time maintenance worker at uh, a park which is literally about 20 feet from the building, a park that I, I'm invested in and a park that I've invested over $1.5 million in capital dollars. And so I, I, I was happy to see that, um, that Trinity gave a commitment of actually a little over $51,000 a year with a 3% cost of living uh, annually. And so I thank you for that. Um, I'm not too happy about the parking situation, but I do understand that you know um, that this is a transit-rich area. Um, I understand the the difficulties in putting parking in this particular building uh, because of just the infrastructure and just the way the layout of the building is. Um, and I understand that we don't always get 100% of what we ask, but I was able to get what I wanted in terms of the parks, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable enough with the application process that's gonna happen in terms of getting local hiring, and in terms of getting local residents in the community access uh, to these buildings. And um, something, if, if, you, if you can just notice, something that I'm big on in terms of these 277 units, it's mixed income. We're targeting deep affordability, and we're also targeting the working class families. And again, the goal to develop in my council district is to preserve uh, units and also to bring in new developments and ensuring that families are not being displaced. Uh, so with that, I, I recommend that members of this committee vote yes. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions or remarks from the members of the subcommittee? I see none. I will now vote, uh, call a vote uh, to approve with the modifications uh, I have described, LUs 8, 9, and 10, and to approve LU 14 and pre-considered LU Hopkinson Park Place tax exemption. Uh, Council, please call the roll. George. Aye. Gibson. With my warmest congratulations to Councilmember Ampri Samuel and Councilmember Salamanca, I vote yes. King. Vote aye. Diaz. Seguro que sí. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero negative, and zero extension, ex, uh, abstentions, land use items eight, nine, 10, and uh, 14 Sorry, land use items 14 and pre-considered LU Hopkins Place are approved and land use items 8, 9, and 10 are approved with modifications and all items are referred to the full land use committee for consideration. Thank you. Uh, I would like to thank the council and land use staff for preparing for today's hearing and the members of the public and my colleagues for attending. This meeting is hereby adjoined. <laughs>